Good morning and welcome to Chroma Seafront. We're actually filming this in the car because it's very windy outside and I want you to hear me. The current temperature out there is seven degrees. Unsure what the sea might be, but we're here for the Chroma Dash and Dip this morning on Boxing Day. So we're gonna go and find Baza and Naomi. We're gonna go for our fun run and then we're gonna go and take a dip in the sea with God knows how many other people. <laughs> So although many different parking options in Chroma, we decided to park at the visitor centre. It was £2.70 for two hours, there was toilets there and just a three to four minute walk away from the pier. The start of the dash is actually held just to the right hand side of the pier. We actually turned up a little bit late and had about two minutes to get ourselves ready but we managed to join the back of the queue just in time to start the run. And as you'll see here, everybody's made the effort. They've got different hats on. We've got Santa outfits later on and somebody even came in their birthday suit. If I could hazard a guess, I'd probably say there was about 200 to 250 people who participated in the dash part of this event. The run itself started off along the coastal path. Path then actually did get a little bit thinner and we almost went to single file. Then after the path had finished, we actually moved onto the beach itself. Different terrain here with the sand and the rocks, so you definitely need to look where you're going. He says taking a selfie video and Baz are running backwards. This was our first dash and dip at Chroma, so we didn't really know what to expect. And I must admit the views were absolutely phenomenal. I think the sun being out and everybody being in good spirits really made this run so much more fun. Eee, here comes Santa. So parts of this run were seemingly like an obstacle course race. Throughout the run, there's lots of things to jump over or move through, which actually gives it a little bit more quirkiness. The route itself actually takes you around two miles towards Overstrand. And once you get to that point, you hit a nice steep hill incline before making your way back towards the Chroma Pier. Here she comes. Go on, girl. <laughs> the run really is suited for all ages. Eliza there, just eight years old at the making of this video. And as we get back to Chroma Seafront, the place really is filling out. If I had to put a number on it, I'd say somewhere between two and a half to 3,000 people in total. Not everybody was taking part. Some people were just there purely to support people, but the atmosphere again was absolutely amazing. We were fairly lucky this year. The sun was shining and it didn't seem that cold down on the beachfront. The atmosphere really was unrivaled down there and you had people of all different shapes and sizes all ready and anxious to get into that water. The seafront was crowded with noise from eager dippers for this Boxing Day dip. Katrina grabbed this footage from the wall and I didn't realise that there was this many people actually stood on the beachfront. She had to zoom in to the max that her phone would do. There's me and Baza as we're ready to go and start this run. There was a countdown, but from the beachfront, you just couldn't hear it. But as soon as the tape dropped, we were all ready to rock it. Let's have it! Let's have it! Ah! So after building up the hype and charging in like a madman, as soon as we got into the sea, there was this sobering feeling of cold. The charge generally did feel like we was going to war. And as you looked around, just everybody was marching into the sea. It was such a good feeling. I'd heard rumors while we was on the beachfront that the temperature of the water might be somewhere between four and five degrees. The water was fresh, but my calves and my feet were in so much pain. And I can't really understand why, but unfortunately, I actually had to turn around and make my way back out of the sea. Overall for me, this was a great experience. Parking wasn't that far away and we managed to get straight to the start line with no issues. We took off on the run and just followed the crowd. 
I don't know where you might stand if you was a faster runner, however, because throughout the whole experience, I didn't see any marshals. Now this may be because this is just an advised fun run and you're pretty much pointed in the direction that you need to go and perhaps somebody that's done the route before knows where to go. But we just followed the crowd and we did make it back. It's important to remember that this dash and dip is actually for charity. So you will see people walking around in high vis with buckets, just ready to accept a few pounds donation for your experience. The people that you can see participating in this video are members and children of members from Tiger Fitness in Thetford. We're a bespoke facility in the town and offer small group personal training for your physical and mental wellbeing needs. Even the newest member, Shelby, made his way along. It's important after to get as dry and warm as quickly as possible. Some people had hot water bottles within their towels so that when they pulled their towels out they'd be nice and warm. Others had these dry robes as well. If you haven't got a dry robe, I'd highly recommend getting one. As you can see, you can fit many little people in this. Keeps you protected from the wind and keeps you very, very warm. And after all this, we headed to the pub for a well-earned Boxing Day pint. Some of us needed to sleep it off though. 